good everybody thank you for checking me out this is echo simpson this is real time video look when you come to a sable you find a lot of fruits here this is purple all right either someone planted it or it grew by itself i remember when i was in school i mean during school time we were told that birds do pick up seeds and drop them somewhere so maybe a bed planted this way <laughs> anyway there are other plants that i think this is tick 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 tree yes this is tick you can see that right all right so that brother coming right there so uh, a few years ago lee contacted me that um echo i've heard about Sable pan african village can you get me some plot i'm like yeah so i was able to get him four plots all right and he started his work i mean he's doing his best you know started the work he's up to something i mean he's on it and uh today he's back in ghana this is the second time in ghana the first time i'll show you i'll put a description or i'll put a i'll put a link in the description you can find the first video that we did when he came to ghana all right so uh he came we went to check his plot and then he's back again for another visit by a short while so why is he here because he learned that uh there are certain issues concerning registering the asable pan-african land so he came in he called me up and then we met and then we went to the um to the ghana lands commission here in the central region okay so we went there but i didn't take a video because it's a public institution i can't just be making videos over there so we went and then we spoke to someone over there so the person looked at the asable pan-african um the indenture and he said this is legal this is a representation of the agreement between the asable pan-african um village or project being manned by the chief and then himself so that uh indenture signifies that the land has been given to him but when you want to register a land here in ghana this is what i learned when i went to the ghana lands commission when you want to register a land in ghana there are other documents that must be added to the indentures so one of them is called cadastral plan all right so we are going with these guys over there oh where is this over here he's way gone over there all right so one of the things that you need to get is the cadastral plan so the cadastral plan you would have to get the services of a surveyor send him there with his devices and everything and pick your plot only if you look at the asable pan-african uh, in danger you realize that there's a part there's this yellow page where there's a lot of plots and yours has been singled out with red line all right that is the layout but if you want to start the registration process you would have to get another document that singles out your plot only in that sheet with no other plots close to it okay so that is what is needed to uh be able to start the um registration and so we called our yes our apple man yeah i mean adam he's a farmer he just went to his farm to get some product for the wife and the family so i quickly had to call a surveyor who came in with his gadget so we are walking to where the plot is because the road is pretty bad we can't drive here okay so we have to walk so i'm walking and they're also walking look at them all right so um i called the surveyor so we are heading towards the plot right now to pick the coordinates for the specific plot we are working on and the other thing is you can also organize a search okay so after this run a search on that particular piece of land 
to know what is really happening or what information is on that particular land so with that we may be able to find okay one the land is not a state land it's a family land i guess and then you will be able to state if there has already been a judgment on the plot if there's no judgment on the plot then we're good to go we got the, the cadastral going on and then we add it to the document that our sable has given us and then we can use that to do the registration so we asked the guy at the registration the lands commission and he said it takes about eight months to get your registration done all right so this is just <clears throat> um a series of videos that i think i may be doing in connection to how one can register your land so right now we're heading to the property to pick the coordinates from there and then we move on with it hello lee how are you doing? What's up, brother? You good? I'm good. Straight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, that building there, maybe I'll come back and show you. It belongs to someone that I know very well. And she's using clay to build over there. She's using clay to build. And that is pretty nice. But just that it takes time because they have this mold that they have to be fixing and all that. So, Leslie, uh, maybe when I'm coming back, I'll take a video. And this other project that is going on, all right? I'm kind of tired of walking this distance, you know. That's my brother right there. Yeah. I call Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. Africans in the diaspora to the Madeleine.
Is, but this is what he's using to pick the plot all right so there's another building on going over there made of bricks that is nice so I set up an African village is ongoing look at that I wish I can fly my drone but I'm not in the mood <laughs> got that project right there So this this part of the second phase. All right, when you go this way, there's a lot of buildings there. There's a lot of buildings there. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, your plot, you know, do what you have to do. It's been a while. I came around here, so I'm panting. Yes, so we are still here trying to get a coordinate so that we can use this to start the process of registering the land. So after he's done uh, picking the, the coordinates or whatever, he's going to use it to be able to, to create the cadastra. Okay, so with the cadastra, then we can go to the Lands Commission and say, hey, can you check? Now, after picking this one, yeah, can you check if there is any judgment on the land? If there's no judgment, like I said, you're good to go. Okay. Yeah, so that's what they've been mixing over here to fix what they have to fix. All right, so I'm here again. I'm on my way back to my house. Yes, and I told you I'll give you a closer look at this building that is ongoing. The guys are using uh, query, I think query stone. Uh, sand and then um, clay so they mix it and then they have this uh, mold here okay oh it's very heavy okay so they fix it something like this and then they put the, the mixture in there so this person right here uh, is rather using sand and um, she, he's, she's using clay and then quarry sand and something something else to build here on our sable. 